Setting up an airsoft rifle can be daunting. There are many different attachments you can choose from, and many different ways people set up their guns. Today, I'm going to tell you what I prioritize when setting up an airsoft rifle. I've played airsoft for over six years at this point, so my choices are based on what I find myself using the most. Before talking about attachments, it's important to choose a good base gun. Generally, I would recommend choosing an electric gun with good internals and robust externals. For my current primary, I've chosen the G&G G36C. It's light, has very solid externals, and is short enough to handle the CQB fields I bring this gun to. My general philosophy with airsoft guns is to only attach what you need. Putting on a whole bunch of stuff to your gun to make it look cool can be fun, but will make your rifle weigh a lot. Keeping your gun light will go a long way to improving your effectiveness in the game. My first recommendation would be an optic. Most airsoft guns come with iron sights, and even without sights, you can see where your BBs are going. But over the years, I've found that two things will win you airsoft gunfights. Being undetected, and being able to land your shots. What are you aiming at? What, what are you aiming at? Having an optic that is zero to your airsoft gun is very helpful in landing those further shots on an enemy that isn't aware of your presence. I think choosing a good optic is one of the most important things you can put on your airsoft gun. In terms of what optic to get, there are three general options. You can buy very cheap optics made for airsoft, buy slightly more expensive optics that are still made for airsoft, but replicate very expensive optics, or buy real optics rated for real guns. Optics made for airsoft generally have poor glass, short battery life, and aren't very durable. For this reason, I would not buy airsoft optics that clone real steel optics. These airsoft optics are typically more expensive, sometimes even approaching real steel optic costs, but have none of the advantages of real optics. That leaves two options, buying a very cheap airsoft optic or buying a real steel optic. Buying a cheap airsoft optic has one major advantage, they're cheap. Airsoft guns typically have no recoil to speak of, so airsoft optics usually hold zero on airsoft guns. With a cheap optic, you will still be able to make good hits on target. The other option is to buy a real steel optic. Real optics are made to withstand recoil and are usually robust. The glass clarity on these optics is also much better than airsoft optics, and battery life is very long often lasting for multiple years. These factors make real optics incredibly useful for airsoft. If you buy a real optic, it will likely serve you well for a long time, and real optic prices have come down to the point where you can buy budget red dots from reputable companies such as Holosun. If you can afford it, it's one of the most worthwhile investments you can make in airsoft. If you're going to run more expensive attachments on your guns like optics, make sure you protect them. Glass and optics and lights are strong, but not typically strong enough to withstand BB strikes. You can either buy pre-made lens protectors, or cut them yourself from a Lexan sheet. While many expensive attachments have good warranty, you don't want to have to leave a game because your red dot glass is shot out. My next recommendation would be a sling. A sling is essentially a holster for your rifle. It'll make carrying your rifle around easier, since the weight of the gun is distributed over your body. Additionally, if you need to drop the rifle to do something, like throwing a grenade, it's very convenient to let the gun drop on your body, rather than having to place your rifle on the ground. There are generally two types of slings, one point and two point slings. Two point slings secure the rifle more securely to the body, while one point slings stay out of the way when actually handling the rifle. In airsoft, you spend more time using your rifle than anything else, so I would rather have a sling that stays out of the way when I'm using the gun. An optic and sling will take you a long way in airsoft, and some people never move beyond these two options. However, as you start to play more, and play different types of games, certain other attachments can prove to be very useful depending on the situation. 
My third recommendation would be a flashlight. Depending on where you play, this may not be as important to have on your rifle, say in a brightly lit field. However, most fields have dark areas, not just at night. Dark corners, dimly lit buildings, under cars, these are all spots that people can and will hide in. A light is crucial for seeing into these spots and identifying if people you see are friendlies or not. Also, I would recommend getting a flashlight rated for real gun use. The brightness difference between real lights and airsoft knockoffs is literally night and day. I've used knockoff lights before that claim to be bright, but have struggled to illuminate dark areas. The one I have on here is a Streamlight Protec HLX, and it's been one of the best investments I've ever made for Airsoft. Real weapon lights are expensive, but they're worth it. One other thing to note, if you do get a light, make sure it's mounted so you can easily turn it on when you need it, and have it off and out of the way when you don't. My final recommendation would be a foregrip. Compared to other attachments, this is the lowest priority. Some people don't use these at all, and get by just fine. I personally use a foregrip on all my guns, as it helps put my wrist in a more comfortable position. Also, when I get tired, holding the foregrip in a more traditional position is less fatiguing and helps me get through those final games of the day. So, that's all about I run. The idea is to have as little as possible on the gun while having attachments that fulfill a specific role. Anything that doesn't have a purpose isn't needed on the gun. Suppressors are cool for the looks, but in airsoft, they generally don't do anything except add weight. Lasers don't belong in airsoft. They can permanently damage other players' eyes and are a serious safety hazard. And beyond that, they just aren't that useful. All visible lasers do is give away your position, and IR lasers are useless unless you have night vision. Attachments aren't necessary in airsoft, but with carefully chosen attachments on your gun, a well-set-up rifle will make you more effective.